University of Houston Energy Symposium is sponsored by Exxon Mobil. Every year, UH Energy brings critical issues in energy to the university in our annual symposium series. This year, the first topic is the Arctic, untapped opportunity or risky business. With low energy prices and substantial economic growth, consumer demand for energy has exponentially increased across the globe. Economic advancement over the last 200 years has strongly correlated with increased energy consumption. With the world's population expected to grow to 9 billion by 2050, energy demand is expected to significantly increase over the next several decades. The International Energy Agency estimates that the world demand for oil would increase by roughly 1.4 million barrels a day in 2015. To accommodate this rising demand, oil companies are exploring areas of the Arctic for untapped resources. The Arctic contains an estimated 13% of the world's undiscovered oil and about 30% of its undiscovered conventional natural gas. Operators are already drilling over land in the Arctic. About one-third of Arctic area reserves in shallow water have been lightly explored, even though it is the largest geographic area on Earth with a vast amount of probable resources. In 2012, Shell attempted to begin drilling in the Arctic. The Kulik and the Noble Discoverer, two of the oldest drill ships, were hurriedly refurbished and sent to sea. Both drilling ships saw torrential storms, creating a domino effect of complications. The Discoverer immediately saw multiple equipment failures and the ship was impounded by the Coast Guard. Eventually, the Kulik also became unmanageable and let loose, wrecking on the shore of an uninhabited island in the Pacific. In the U.S., the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, or BOEM, manages the exploration and development of offshore energy and marine mineral resources. Their operation covers the continental shelf and the Arctic, the area off of the Alaskan coast that lies within 200 nautical miles. BOEM regularly releases a five-year plan for the sale of oil and gas leases. Before an area is proposed for leasing and included in the five-year plan, Seven factors must be considered from the environmental sensitivity to the laws and policies of the affected states involved. An environmental impact study is prepared and the public is provided with a number of opportunities to comment on the proposed activity. The most recent five-year plan included the sale of leases in the Chukchi Sea and the Beaufort Sea above the Arctic Circle off of the northern coast of Alaska. Nearly 120 million acres with an estimated 25 billion barrels of oil and 120 trillion cubic feet of natural gas exist in probable reserves. In 2007, the environmental impact study was drafted for the proposed lease areas and open for public comment. The sale was contested in court and prompted a supplemental environmental impact study. The second study was released in February 2015 and included a hypothetical long-term scenario over the full life of all leases included in the Chukchi Sea. It determined that future development brings a 75% chance of one or more spills of over 1,000 barrels of oil, a figure that has attracted attention from the media and stakeholders. In March of this year, the Department of the Interior upheld the schedule of lease sales and in May approved Shell's exploration plan. In August, Shell was granted the final permit, allowing the corporation the approval to drill below the ocean floor. Questions on the safety of drilling in the Arctic are still being contested and we invite you to join us on September 24th at 5.30 p.m. in the UH Student Center South Houston Room. The symposium will feature a panel of guest speakers including Jed Hamilton, Senior Arctic Consultant at ExxonMobil, Kevin Haroon, Arctic Program Director at Pacific Environment, Bob Reese, American author of nonfiction and consultant on Arctic issues, and Peter Van Tyne, managing partner at Bessany and Van Tyne LLC. Moderating the symposium is Richard Hout, senior research scientist at the Houston Advanced Research Center.